Welcome. In this video, we will be creating this piece of apple pie. Uh, we will be creating uh, the sculpty inside of 3ds Max using Prim Composer. Uh, we will also, inside of Prim Composer, uh, apply the textures and bake them uh, so that they can be up automatically uploaded to OpenSim uh, using uh, Maxport. The textures uh, that we'll be applying to this are as follows. We'll, uh, this texture in the upper right hand corner will be used to create the crust of the pie. Uh, the top of the pie uh, will be created from this image in the upper left and the filling of the pie uh, will be created from this, uh, pic this image in the center. Uh, and the final texture uh, that will be applied to the Sculpty uh, will end up looking something like this. So let's begin. Okay, so now we're ready to apply materials and uh, create UV maps for those materials. And I'm going to need three special UV maps uh, to map uh, the materials that I want to put on this piece of pie. I'll go to uh, Unwrap UVW, apply that modifier, and now the map channel by default is map channel 1, but that's already being used by Prem Composer to create the sculpties. So I want to change this to something different. I'll change this to channel 2. And we'll need to remember this later because we're going to have to reference that uh, inside the material. Uh, for this first uh, UV map, I'm going to map the top of the pie. So just so that this is easy for me to remember, I'm going to call this top crust so that I know that this is mapping the top of the of the pie. Now I want to select the faces that are just on the top of the pie. So I'm going to turn on the planar angle option and just click on any face on the top of the pie and you can see that I've selected all of those faces. Now we want to apply a planar map to this uh, and you can uh, press best align then unclick planar and now uh, click on the top uh, of the modifier and then press edit to open the UV editor. Now we can see we have selected this is the top of the crust all of these um, red vertices here. Uh, we don't want or care about any of the other vertices so let's click select element and then just click on any vertices there and we'll just move all of this all of these uh, faces and vertices that we don't care about. We'll just move them off to the left of the UV map here. And so what we're left with in the 0 to 1 space here, which is bounded by these dark blue lines, is just the top crust of, of the pie. Alright, I'll come back to this when we uh, after we've applied materials. We want to do the same thing again. I'm going to apply another Unwrap UVW modifier. Uh, and this time I'm going to do it for the back and bottom crusts. So I'll call this bottom crust. And again, the default map channel is 1. Uh, that's used by Prim Composer. We've already used channel 2, so we'll set this to channel 3. So now we want to select the faces on the back of the crust. We'll turn planar angle on again, click once, hold down the control key, click again. And we've selected all of the faces <clears throat> on the back of the crust. We'll cl click cylindrical uh, as, as the mapping and align Y. And uh, now we'll uh, rotate this so that it matches a little bit better and uh, I'll 
rescale this just a uh, just a little bit and uh, rotate that just a little bit more okay that looks good I was rotating that so that my seams uh, would be on the edges there um, all right turn off cylindrical and now we'll select the bottom of the crust again with planar angle turned on and now we'll hit planar and best align and then turn off planar and we'll click on the top and we'll press edit uh, again and so now we see the UV map again and uh, we'll turn back on select element and just click here and we can see this has selected everything that other than the bottom of the crust uh, so we don't need that so let's just uh, move that off to the left of the UV map and now that leaves us with the back crust and with the bottom crust and I'll come back to these after I've applied the materials so then finally we want to do the uh, filling of the crust uh, or the filling of the pie so I'll apply another unwrap UVW modifier I'm going to call this uh, pie filling and we want to select turn on planar angle and I'm going to select uh, one part of the pie filling click planar best align unclick planar and now select the other side of the pie filling and uh, planar angle with planar angle turned on I click planar best align unclick planar and then click on the top of the modifier again and press edit and turn on select element and we'll just click here and you see this has selected everything but the pie filling we don't want that right now because we're just doing the pie filling so we'll just move all of that off to the left and that leaves us with the pie filling on this side and the pie filling on this side which is exactly what we want so we're done with that so the next step is to apply the materials okay so let's create our materials we'll open the material editor we want to start now for this I'll just start with the standard material and then uh, in the diffuse map I'll put a composite map in the diffuse map and we have three uh, basic parts to our texture we have the top the bottom the top crust the bottom crust and the filling so I need three maps here so I'll set the the number of maps to three and we'll just start with uh, the top crust we see that the top crust was mapped on map channel 2 so we'll click the first map we'll give it a bitmap and I'll just go to my textures directory here this is the top crust uh, which I'm using this apple pie whole apple pie texture to do the top of the crust I want to turn off tiling and I want the top of the crust is mapped to map channel 2 so I want to change the map channel to 2 uh, in this bitmap uh, to match the UV mapping 
Then I want to do the bottom crust. The bottom crust is is UV map is on map channel three. So again, I'll do a bitmap, and uh, the bottom crust. I'm using this uh, this photo, this image for the bottom of the crust. And again, I'll turn tiling off. And I want the map channels to match. So this is map channel three. So I'll set the map channel to three here. And then finally, I'm going to do the pie filling. Ah, which I did not set the map channel correctly. Um, so I'm going to have to quickly redo this. Um, let's uh, let's change this map channel uh, to four. And I know from experience that this is going to mess up uh, the mapping that I had done previously. Uh, so let's uh, select this planar, uh, best align, unclick, select that planar, best align, unclick, pie filling, edit, and uh, select element, and uh, let's move all of that out of the way. And I'm left with one pie filling and the other pie filling. Okay, so that's what I want. All right, so now we have this. Uh, the pie filling is on map channel four, so we want to create a bitmap for the pie filling. And I'm using this image for the pie filling uh, and turn off tiling and we want this to be on map channel 4. So we've set up our three uh, materials here. Now we want to go back uh, to the UV maps uh, to finalize this and make it look uh, the way we want it to. So we'll start with the top crust we'll click edit and we see the UV map uh, let's under this menu we'll pick texture and we'll click selected uh, and why is that not showing anything uh, it's not giving me anything ah it's because I haven't assigned the material yet so let's quickly assign the material. We'll assign the material to the selection. Now, when I come here, pick texture, selected. Now I have my textures here. Uh, and I'm doing the top crust, uh, which was this. Okay. So now I can see the. Uh, image that I'm using. I'm going to have select element checked and I'll click on this for the freeform uh, mode of this and uh, I just want to move this into more of a standard pie shape uh, and scale it down a little bit and uh, I want a nice cross hatching on on this. So uh, what I'm going to do is uh, rotate this. And actually, I'll just uh, well, no, I'll 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 ro free rotate it, and I'll rotate it there so that now the lattice on the pie is going to be going across uh, this piece of pie that I have and uh, I'll just move this across like so go into freeform mode and just something like that Okay, and if we now come up here and we do a render, we can see that the top of our crust looks 
mighty tasty. All right. Okay, so now we're going to do the bottom of the crust. Uh, we'll select edit. We'll pick a texture and we want the texture that we're going to use for the bottom of the crust. And uh, let's um, select by element and uh, we'll do pretty much the same thing. Just scale this down and uh, maybe rotate it just a little bit and uh, scale it down a little bit more. and move that onto our picture. So now we should be able to look underneath here and if we render uh, we need uh, a little bit more. Okay, so we can see the bottom of our crust looks good. The back of our crust is still not right. You can see the back of the crust is overlapping uh, some of the areas that are not crust like uh, so we need to fix that uh, so we'll scale that down and just move that so that it's onto the crusty area and let's see let's render that that looks good Okay, so if we go back so that we can see both, that looks like a pretty good crust. Okay, so now we want to do the filling. We'll edit the filling and we'll pick a texture again and we'll pick our filling texture. And uh, we just want to. move this so that it's like that. So let's take a look at uh, that's this side. See what that looks like. That doesn't look quite right to me. So let's let's see what we're going on here. If I um, select a point here this is the upper left. If I select this point This is the upper right. So this has actually been rotated um, in order to get this to look correctly. I, let's try rotating it minus 90 degrees. And uh, now if I click here and click here, no, I rotated it the wrong direction. So let's rotate it plus 90 and another plus 90. And now, okay, this is the upper left and this is the upper right. So now our orientation is correct. Select the element and in freeform mode, now we'll Okay, let's see what that looks like. That's much better. I think I want to move this up just a little bit. Okay, that looks pretty good. Do the same thing to the other side. And let's see if we have the same problem. Uh, with this one. That's the lower right and this is the upper right. So yes, this needs to be rotated again. So we'll rotate it plus 90 
and now we'll look at it. This is the no, I must have rotated it the wrong direction again. Uh, let's try this again and we'll minus 90 minus 90. Okay, so now this is the upper right, this is the upper left. Okay, so our orientation is correct. And uh, we'll go back into freeform mode and we'll just bring this down and bring this up. Okay, and let's take a look at it. That looks pretty good. Okay, so now at this point we've uh, we've mapped our entire pie. Let's just put an edit poly on the top of the stack here for no particular reason and um, let's add a light to the scene. I'll add a skylight and uh, then I'll just raise this up a little bit and now we can see our pie. So at this point we're ready to export select our object from composer export selected I will call this uh, apple pie and we want to bake the textures and we press export so now it's baking the textures using the materials that we created using the UV maps that we uh, created and tied to the to the materials and it's uh, baking uh, the textures and ex exporting both the sculpt map for this uh, pie wedge as well as the baked texture and we're done and that took 37 seconds and we can see that that created one sculpt map and one baked texture close that and we can take a quick look um, if we look here I called it apple pie and here is apple pie and if we look in the textures and look at the texture that was baked and uh, just to open this here uh, ah, it's a TGA uh, let's open it in uh, Photoshop and uh, here is the baked texture that it created and as you can see that's something that we really wouldn't want to create by hand um, so now let's take a look at it in Second Life I'll just pause it for a second and uh, upload it using Maxport um, if you aren't familiar with Maxport look at please look at the tutorial uh, using Maxport to upload to Second Life and OpenSim on the video tutorials page so I'm going to upload it and then we'll take a look at it and see what it looks like uh, inside of OpenSim and this is the final result this is our Sculpty in Second Life that we just created Prim Composer baked the textures, Maxport uploaded the sculpt map and the baked texture, and uh, created our piece of apple pie for us. Well, I hope that's been helpful. Um, you've seen the whole process of creating the sculpty, uh, applying uh, textures from reference images, uh, creating the materials. Uh, creating UV maps for the materials, applying the materials, uh, creating a composite map uh, for the materials and uh, assigning the map channels to match the UV maps that we've created uh, and then finally uh, exporting with Prim Composer and uh, 
the, the final result.